Hello everybody and welcome to my 25th Visual Basic in Excel tutorial and this tutorial is going to go into um, arrays and um, some of you might already know what arrays are but for those of you that don't an array is um, well to put it for want of a better term an array of variables it's a, a set of variables um, some people like to think of it as a grid um, and basically it's more than one variable but all with the same name so I'm going to show you first of all how you declare an array so dim uh, an array and you do it the same as any other variable name only you add an open bracket you declare how many of that uh, well, you call them elements, so you could say how many elements you want in an array. So we want 10 elements in our array. And you declare what they're as, so we're going to put them as strings. Uh, and I'm actually only going to have five. Um, and then, so this has created five strings. Um, and we access these by putting, uh, by doing exactly the same as what we did so you put that so an array one equals I'm gonna have hello and then an array two equals my and the string so we need to put the little uh, speech marks by them like so and let's just keep copy and pasting this so okay so three four five hello my name is Matt and you don't just have to put the uh, what's called the index in uh, here you can put use a variable as well and one very 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 important thing I'm about to mention is where I've put one two three four five there's five elements in the array but the array indexing does not start at one it starts at zero so I actually need to put these as zero one two three and then the last one is four if you try and reference index number five that one doesn't exist because it goes from zero to four there's five elements starting at zero going to four so just remember that that's really 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 important so you can use uh, let's put a for loop and this is used very commonly for arrays um, equals zero to and we want it to go to four because we don't want it to hit five and next and then in here I want to concatenate them all into the same string so I'm gonna first of all create a string so uh, dim a string as string and then I want to make it say a string equals a string plus an array and then this is where you can use your variable x instead of an index so this is going to add and you can't just use add don't be silly you need to use concatenate um, it's because I've been using JavaScripts uh, where you use add instead um, and I'm going to add a little extra space in instead of um, them being next to each other uh, and we need another little concatenation so, and then we're going to display uh, the string so message box a string alright so what's this going to do first of all we're declaring an array where it has five elements uh, and then we are adding a string uh, variable to each one of those elements in the array um, and we're declaring these by using the index which again is zero based indexing so it starts off as zero it ends at one minus however many uh, elements that are in the array um, 
we're then making a string variable and we're taking each value in turn from the array um, and adding it onto the string and then we're displaying it so when we play this hello my name is Matt so even though these are all separate it's adding them all together by going through each element in the array in turn um, the other thing you can do is you can have a two dimensional array so if you put comma two right now this is where where people like to think of them as grids so you've got an array that is five by two so similarly to excel you have one two three four five and then you have another row down here so we've got two rows so when we reference them we also need to put this as comma one uh, comma one Right, so these are all referencing the first part, and then if we put a comma one there again, and then click play, it's still going to do the same thing, but we can also assign values to that second uh, row down. So we do if we copy the same thing again, put them here, but then put two, 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 two. Two. Um, and we don't actually want to we want zero again because again zero based indexing and I apologize if I'm confusing you so hello my I'm going to say goodbye nice to meet you and then I'm going to copy this and put it here and I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to tear it for zero and then I'm going to display a string again and I want to make it equal to nothing in between. Right, so when we play this, hello, my name is Matt, goodbye, nice to meet you. So, first time, this for loop's going through the first row, and then this for loop, well, technically this loop's going through the first row, and then this loop's going through the second row because of the way the zero based indexing works. Um, so, I'm sorry if I confused you there again. Um, and it's taking each value in that um, row and then making them into a string and then it's taking each value in that row and putting them into a string. Um, this is called a two-dimensional array. The one we had first was a one-dimensional array um, and you can continue to add more and more arrays in. Um, so say you had a three-dimensional cube um, and then you had lots of them so you'd have a grid of cubes you could reference where they're in three dimensional space so it'd be like a, f a three, po three point grid reference so arrays become uh, very in handy uh, and I'm going to show you one of the reasons one of the ways to get used in the next tutorial so uh, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial and if you want to subscribe to my channel uh, then please do say. So.